Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. In this problem, uh, it is said that the elements of a spring-loaded mechanism for a car trunk lid are shown in the figure. For the equilibrium position shown, determine the moment M A, which each of the two torsional springs at A must exert on link A B. The mass of the trunk lid is 18 kg with mass center at G. The effects of the weight of the other members may be neglected, right? So, we have this mechanism which keeps this car lid in the open position, right? So, we have uh, uh, such two mechanisms, one on the uh, on our side and one on the opposite side, right? So, uh, to, in order to keep this lid open, if we consider uh, this OCG part, right? So, what will happen is that this BC link will apply the force on this OCG member in this direction, right? So that is from left towards right. So, if I represent that force, so we will have a BC force which will be acting in this direction, right? So, let us say that this is that BC force and the weight of this lead will be acting vertically downward at this point G, right? So, the weight will be 18 times 9.81 the mass of the lead is 18 right so this is in this will be in newtons and similarly at this point oh we will have two reactions right so we will have one reaction which will be acting in this direction let's say let's say this is ox and we will have one reaction which will be acting vertically upward like this right so now if we consider the this member ocg if i write that we are considering member OCG for the equilibrium analysis, right? So, we can say if we apply the summation of moment about point O equals to 0. So, as we can see that uh, this BC is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point O, right? So, I can write that this is BC and the perpendicular distance of this BC from that point O is this, the summation of both of these, this is 28 plus 23 this is 28 plus 23 and since we have two such mechanism one in uh, one on our side and one on the other side of the screen right so so we will have two such bc lengths right so this bc will be two times right so this is 2 bc so i have to write this as 2 bc so and as we can see that this weight is producing the clockwise moment about that point oh so i will write minus the weight is 18 times 9.81 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point O is this distance, this is 205. So, I will multiply this with 205 and this will be equal to 0. So, we can find BC from this equation. If we uh, bring this term to the other side of equation, so we will have the equation like this. So, from this we can say that uh, BC would be equal to 18 times 9.81 into 205 divided by this 2 into 28 plus 23. So, from this BC is equal to 354.89. So, BC equals to 354.89 Newtons, right? Now, uh, we have to find that moment A, which the springs applied at the, uh, applies at this point A, right? So, now if I consider uh, this A, B link, right? So, if we consider this A, B link, so let's say that this is that point A, right? And let's say that uh, that this that this line represents that A, B link, right? So, we have that line A, B, right? Let's say that this is our A, B link and this is that point B. Here, we have that point B. So, now this BC force will be acting in the opposite direction at this point B, right? So, we will have that BC force which will be acting in this direction, right? So, this is that BC force whose uh, magnitude is 354.89, right? So, now uh, here in the statement it is said that determine the moment MA which each of the two torsional springs Right, so we have to consider uh, only one BC force if you want to find the moment uh, in one of the spring. Right, so in in this spring which is located at this point A, so if if this uh, BC link is applying the force in this direction, so 
uh, in order to keep this lid open uh, this uh, torsional spring will apply the moment in this direction here at this particular point right so we will have that m a moment here at this point a so now if i apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero so as we can see that this m a is in the clockwise direction so i will write minus uh, sorry this spring will apply the four the moment in the opposite direction right so the spring will apply the four the moment in this direction in the counterclockwise direction right in order to keep this lead open so this m a is acting in the counterclockwise direction so i will write m a and this bc force is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus bc and bc is 354.89 and the perpendicular distance of this bc from that point a is this 28 mm distance right this distance is 28 mm so i will multiply this with 28 and this will be equal to 0 or we can say that m a is equal to this thing right so this will give us the m a so this is 354.89 multiplied by 28 so this is 9937 9937 and the unit of this moment is newton mm right so in order to have this moment in newton meter what we need to do is that we need to convert this m millimeter units into meters right so one meter equals to thousand millimeters so this will cancel out so when we divide this nine uh, 9937 by thousand so we will get 9.937 newton meter or we can say that this is approximately 9.94 newton meter right so each torsional spring must apply 9.94 newton meter uh, moment in the counterclockwise direction in order to keep this lead open so i hope you people would have understood this problem solution uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet kindly subscribe my channel and like this particular video for such more problem solutions